I'm a little wary of the idea that we should think of that as a microcosm for what should happen for black America because, not because I'm against reparations, but because reparations for black America already happened starting in the late 60s. Affirmative action was reparations. People didn't use that word, but that's precisely what it was. If affirmative action didn't help to turn black America upside down, then why do we fight red tooth, claw and nail whenever anybody threatens it? It created a huge black middle class and it created black success of all kinds that wouldn't have happened without it. I think affirmative action was a great thing, but I do think that it was a reparation. I love this argument. I love the angle he's taking here because he's saying, look, some kind of reparation is perhaps justified. Now, should we have reparations hundreds of years later? Uh, I think that argument's a little weaker. But to, to me, the cleverer argument is we've already had them. 